There is a spot in Florida that's very popular with summer tourists that has now become America's deadliest beach this year. Yikes, we are talking about Panama City Beach, where eight people have drowned after rip currents pulled them away from shore. Now, there are warnings posted there, but some beachgoers just ignore them. Mark Strassman is in Panama City Beach, where the local sheriff says he is beyond frustrated. Mark, good morning. I get it. Hey, Gail, good morning to you. Beyond frustrated because these deaths were preventable. The warning system here you mentioned is really simple to understand. A single red flag means that water is trouble. A double red flag here means that water is closed. But plenty of people wade in anyway, and they put their lives on the line and rescuers' lives on the line. It's paddle border. He's doing what he needs to do. Darrell Paul's the safety director of a nine-mile stretch of sand suddenly infamous as America's most dangerous beach. Most number of people you've rescued in one day? I stopped counting around like 15. 15 in one day? Yeah. I mean, like, on one rescue, you can get five or six. The reason? Rip currents, like the ones in this aerial photo. Powerful and fast-moving, up to eight feet per second. Impossible to swim against. On shore, Paul can spot them easily. Most of us can't. Where's the rip? The rip's going to be over here. Last month, an unusual stationary front generated winds and waves that created countless rips. One 10-day stretch here was especially deadly. Paul's team performed 73 rescues. They saved 143 people. But six others drowned. All men, all out-of-state vacationers, and all of them died trying to rescue someone else. I mean, he was born with a hero's heart. The way he came into the world is the way he left it. Yes, it sure was. Aaron Alford's brother, Richie, was the first of the six to drown. The 52-year-old retired firefighter tried rescuing two men. That was just one fear that he just had. He couldn't stand the thought of him drowning. And when you heard that he had, in fact, drowned? That was, that was rough. And the only silver line in this, two people did come out alive, but it wasn't him. In this video, deputies and helicopters urge a swimmer on a board to leave the water. Witnesses said he repeatedly refused. When he finally complied, he ran, trying to avoid deputies chasing him down on the beach. Bay County Sheriff Tommy Ford posted, I am beyond frustrated. Personal responsibility is the only way to ensure that no one else dies. Too often, here's the irony. The drowning victim is the would-be rescuer. You see somebody in trouble, temptation for a lot of folks is... Get in the water, in. yeah. Save them. That's a bad move. You need to call 911 right away, get a lifeguard coming. But when the double red flag flies, the real lifesaver is compliance. It don't matter how big you are, it don't matter how great a swimmer you are, you're gone. And if you do find yourself uh, trapped by a rip current, number one rule, don't panic. Try to signal for help and then try to swim sideways parallel with the current until it releases you. But the worst thing you can do is try to try to swim against it to try to fight it. You're not going to win that battle. Although, Tony, I got to say, maybe the worst thing you can do is to ignore that double red flag to begin with. Yes. Oh, boy, Mark, uh, quite a report. That's a great tip there at the end. Thank you very much yeah. for that. I was telling you guys during the piece that I've definitely defied the red flag before thinking, I'm from Florida, I'm a good swimmer, I know, I know what swim. I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, but clearly, Doesn't it's a bad move. Doesn't that make you think differently, though? Yes, I it, mean, it when, definitely it, does. It makes you think differently because everybody thinks, I am a good swimmer, I can do it. And Mark's advice, we hear this all the time, swim parallel with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I think that's hard to remember when you're in the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What gets me is it, you're not just putting yourself in danger. If you get into trouble, what you realize from Mark's report is you, the rescuers yeah. can also yeah. die. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you notice he said all the victims were men. Yes, well, I don't think that's a coincidence. Hello, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to, trying save, to other save other people. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's preventable. It's true. It's preventable yeah. in many cases.